Hi, my name is Angela Jarvis, and I'm here to ask you, how might we create complete and connected active transportation networks in a growing urban area with a traditionally rural history? In partnership with the District of Lake Country and also my peers, Sean Reisman and Lucy Stepnick, I'm here to introduce you to our project, Completing the Loop, Active Transportation Interventions for the Woodsdale Corridor. Lake Country is located in the Okanagan, just north of Kelowna and just south of Vernon. Last summer, two active transportation corridor projects were recently completed. The Okanagan Rail Trail to the east of Wood Lake and the Pemawash Parkway to the west. With these two facilities recently completed, it has identified Woodsdale Road as a major gap in the active transportation network. So here on this two kilometer corridor is where our project begins. Woodsdale Road has a mix of facilities. At the top left, we have crosswalks that don't connect to any actual sidewalks. Or in the middle, we have beautiful sidewalks with street trees and pedestrian oriented lighting. But then in the image in the bottom right, we see that there's gravel shoulders and ditches, which actually force pedestrians to cross to the other side of the street. With this context, we knew we were going to need to address specific needs. We needed to create connections to link this road to the other high quality facilities. We needed to identify barriers, both through implementing the district's OCP, but also the physical constraints of how wide the roadway is and how that influences our designs. Then we knew it needed to be attractive and intuitive so the community would use it. And lastly, we needed to target hotspots, finding areas of the greatest complexity that would benefit from our analysis. And so that was broken into two approaches. The very specific and targeted approach that identified two hotspots, which varied in complexity. And then secondly, the bold and inspiring approach, which responded to our partners ask for creative and out of the box ideas. The first hotspot is the intersection of Woodsdale Road at Bottomwood Lake Road. This connection is key as Bottomwood Lake leads into the downtown and currently has on street bike lanes. Here we've created designs for an ultimate 30 year outlook. There's dedicated sidewalks, protected bike lanes, and improved crossings through the intersection. We created five year implementation plans to mitigate what the district could do independently or what could be done in conjunction as redevelopment occurred along the corridor. Secondly, hotspot number two, the slope. This area experiences upwards of an 8% change in elevation and is the narrowest street section in our analysis. It lacks dedicated facilities, forcing pedestrians to walk unsafely along the shoulder or curb. Our designs look to maximize the 30 year vision, assuming future redevelopment of the RV park. However, the five year option looks to mitigate the complexity of the slope so we recommend cyclists sharing a wider sidewalk and yielding to pedestrians at all times. And lastly, our big ask was to address the hotspot at Highway 97. In this area, we felt a little out of our depth. So we started researching and looked in our own backyard for other multi-use pathway projects in BC that had received funding and therefore partnership with the province's Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure. And so we took that research and applied it to the context of our site. We challenged assumptions by recommending a shift in alignment to the north, which more closely aligns with the access point, the Pemawash Parkway. While still, this borrows on the geometry of the existing projects to show what's feasible in the area. To go beyond what was asked of us, we explored what it would be like to create a crossing over the marina. This infrastructure could act as a breakwater during the choppy winter season. It can provide a placemaking community feature with shade from hot summer sun, but also solace as an additional public access point to Wood Lake. 
So come and speak to us further about this project and so we can look at completing connections in your community. Again, my name is Angela Jarvis for completing the loop on behalf of Sean Reisman and Lucy Stepnick.